welcome to another YouTube video. Uh, this is Photoshop Easy Tuts here, and we're going to show you another tutorial. And this is how to make this fire saying YouTube. Yep, yeah, it's brilliant. It's got all fiery text. We can make this much, much more as soon as you know how to add fire to your text. So, first of all, we're going to do is we're going to file new, we're going to start a new presentation and we're going to call it fiery text layer okay make sure that's custom 256 256 well actually we can make that into centimeters and we can do width 17 we'll do height 17 that's brilliant and keep everything else fine transparent it needs to be to so the bottom one transparent well, in fact, we could do a background colour. And, yep, so a background colour. So, if we do OK, that's fine. So, now we can make, so we get a rectangle. We're going to try and get it over the whole of the square. That's OK now. So, now we can start to create our text, which is going to be put into fire. So if we select the text tool and we just press just under the middle of the square, that should be okay. Oh, it's done it up there for some reason. So we'll have to. So I'll have to convert that, rasterize that, type, rasterize type, and that should be okay now. Right, we should be able to do it now. Yes, right. Um, select the colour of your text, we're going to do white because obviously that's the colour it should be but it won't be white in, uh, when you finish this so it could be any colour really but it's easier if it's white so you can see it so we're going to type YouTube in and that <coughs> we're going to make that 104 we're going to make that 104 with spacing so it's this little spacing thing here. You can do, whoop, you can make it like that, but you can make it like that. But we're going to do 104 for now. Right. So in in this case, we might have to extend our canvas size. So Alt Control C or Image Canvas Size. And we're going to make the width slightly more. We'll say 19 centimeters. That is perfect now. But obviously the shape, this black background needs to be pulled up, pulled out a bit. And let's find out and apply the transformation. But this is only if you've got quite a long word. And you can do it even more than that if you've got a really long word. Um, so we'll put it down a bit. So now we're going to... Um, we're going to actually add a bit of um, an element to it so we're going to well first we can duplicate this layer duplicate layer and we'll just call it YouTube text copy one and OK so now we've got two lo lots of text this one we're not going to be using for quite a while so if we just keep it down here that should be fine. So we're just concentrating on this one for the moment. Oh. Just concentrating on this one. So if we bring that down. Now we're going to go to filter and stylize and wind. Filter, stylize and wind. I'm going to press yes because it's going to rasterize the type. You won't be able to edit the text after this. So press OK if you're fine with that. Okay, so we've got wind, just keep it, same op, oh, hang on, first, even before that, we need to rotate our shape from the right hand side. Oh. So if we rotate it, like so, that's perfect. Now we can get onto the stylizing. Sorry about that. Right. Apply transformation. Filter. 
stylized things. Okay, it's rasterizing again. Um, and we're going to press OK. You will see there's a little bit of wind, as it's called, on the side. We're going to do exactly the same thing several times until it gets better and better. Wind. OK. Filter. Stylize. Wind. OK. And just leave it on the same option as it's as it's already on. That'll be fine. And if you really want to do it again, you can to make it really stand out. But I think personally, it's fine for now. We're going to try and make it best we can. Apply transformation. We're going to put it in the middle. That might not be fully upright, so we're going to sort of change it a bit. That's perfect. Okay, so now we're going to do um, a blur for it. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So it's got to be Gaussian blur. And we're going to put it onto seven pixels. It won't work unless you do around seven pixels. I mean, it doesn't matter if you do 6.9 or something, but something around seven, and then it will be absolutely perfect. So if we do seven for now, and you can't really see it on the preview because obviously it's a transparent image but we'll do OK that's perfect now right now we're going to create another copy of that text so if we get this and duplicate layer again and we'll do YouTube fiery text colour that will be much better if we put that in we'll know which layer is which? If we put that in, and OK. Now you've noticed it's got a bit brighter. We're going to right click on that and blending options. So we're going to select blending options. We're now going to go to color overlay, and as you can see, we're going to make a lovely, lovely color. But you can make any color you want. It's easy if you choose a darker one. It'll be easier for you in a minute, and we'll tell you why. That's okay. I've got F F one two O O. So F F one two O O. Okay. Yeah. Um that's pretty good colour, so I'll go with that. And okay. Right, so now we've got that, we're going to do a bit more with that. So we're going to merge the two layers. So we're going to have YouTube text copy one. No, we're not even. We're going to have YouTube and YouTube Fiery Text Color. We're going to merge those. Merge layers. That's good. So that's just one thing now that you can bring with you around. So that's much better. Okay, so now it's time to create the flame shapes because these aren't much um, of the flames yet. Uh, it doesn't look too good. Uh, so we're going to go to Filter liquify that's shift plus control plus x for liquify going to go to the liquify station and here it is on the liquify station you won't be able to see much of it because it's against a it's actually against a transparent background so press show backdrop it's much easier and we have opacity a hundred percent because we we obviously need to see what it's going to look like so we're going to press a forward warp tool, you should already be on it, it's W in case you're not, so just press W and then you're on it. So we're going to make our brush size 10, brush density 50, and brush pressure 73. And now we're going to start to use the tool, so we'll just, you won't be able to see it here, just do it like this as if you can see it do it to the fire above so it won't look very good yet, it will look exactly the same as that so if we just pull it out a bit and then if we press OK you can immediately see that we've got fire above here just by doing that so that's perfect now. So now we're going to try and add a bit more of the text. So now we come back to this YouTube text. So we're going to hopefully click on.